Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new episode of Queen of the Deen. Today, I'm going to be uh, interviewing a sister I've known we go way back, like we've known each other since we were like 12, 13. Natasha Hudson is known as an actress, host and model who made her hijra back in 2012. A mother to three beautiful daughters, Natasha is also a fashion designer and blogger on Modest Wear. Based in Malaysia, she is currently doing business in organic products and organic baby wraps. She aims to share the knowledge she has to educate and promote organic living. Uh, today, she's uh, going to be sharing some of her new passions in life. So, I'm super excited and I cannot wait for you to see her. So, Tasha, tell me more about yourself. <laughs> That's funny, like, as if you don't know. Yeah, for, for everyone else who would like to get to know you a bit more. Okay, now, currently, my current life right now, mm -hmm. I am a mother of three beautiful girls, oh, age really 8, up. 3 and 11 months. So, I've not been acting for three years. I've been busy studying. I ventured into businesses. Mm -hmm. So, I did Islamic studies for about three years and then I did a fashion line for about five years, but I quit that. Mm -hmm. And recently, I launched my own organic baby wraps mm -hmm. as well as organic skincare. Okay, so Tasha, tell me what's your main motivation for, for what you're doing right now and also what is your ultimate goal? Well, to be honest, I never actually thought that I would actually get into this organic business. When I started doing this for friends and family, they said to me, Tasha, you have to start doing it. Take it for real. Because, I mean, I always share this whole organic experience with people. I always give talks about it. And then my children love it. So basically, my children, friends and family really motivate me to do it. You need someone to actually support you from the back. My goal, I mean, I would love to expand the business. I would love to educate people about organic living. And, okay. and being a Muslim, I think we should share with people and you know, educate them. I don't want to keep this business to myself because right. nothing is basically owned by me. It belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's my right to basically create this awareness to everyone. Mashallah, mashallah. So that is beautiful motivation. Yeah. We all like want too much success. Inshallah. What are you going to show me today? I'm going to do some stuff with you. Basically, I'm going to make an eye serum. Okay. So what you basically need is a little bottle like this. This is about 5 ml. Okay. So what we actually need is actually lavender. And the other one is frankincense, mm -hmm. which it helps with cuts and bruises and operation scars right. internally and as well as external. And we're using that with coconut oil. That's it. Okay. So it's really easy. So what I do is for 5 ml, we only need about two to three drops. Actually, two is enough, but okay. if you want a little bit more for that instant Botox effect. I love <laughs> this so much, seriously. <laughs> I did a little bit of research on the Islamic medical references, and when I stumbled upon this verse and hadith, it actually opened up my eyes that Islam, the Quran, has so much for us as Muslims, and Allah has made so much out there, the creation of Allah, beneficial for all of us. So yeah, that's part of my motivation. And I always use that when I, when I talk to my friends that you know even the Quran they actually you know even said the same thing okay one two two drops three drops and there's another thing that's interesting you know like a lot of people ask me oh what if I get the essential oil in my eye do I wash it with water no you don't do that Just because it. it acts like acid burn when that happens oh my so what you do is you actually take any carrier oil mm -hmm. What a carrier oil is, basically oils that you can actually cook and it's healthy, organic and cold press. Okay. So use grapeseed, coconut, almond, jojoba, that whatnot. Okay, so yeah. I hope everyone who's watching is writing all of this down, yeah. okay? Because this is very essential. These are all essential notes that yeah. we need to have. At so home. this is done. Oh my God, it smells so good. Yeah, it is. Mashallah. Yeah. Nice. It's amazing. Ooh, and the best part is I get to take it home. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Were there any challenges that you faced when it came to deciding on doing everything organic and put, you know, making this into a business? Well, you see, when I was doing uh, my fashion line, I felt that, oh, it's going to be good, I'm going to make money. But, you know, it's a learning process mm -hmm. because it's not easy. And now I would rather not have so much money, 
but be content. You see, not everyone understands what organic is and they feel that when you say organic, oh, it's expensive. You know, what I actually try to do with my brand is I educate. If you actually take a look at what I actually put on my Instagram, what I upload is more on education. Well, yeah, I guess a lot of patience helps as well for me. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And this is a lot of, there's a lot of benefit in, in this business. Yeah. <laughs> Every Queen of the Dean uh, episodes, we play a little game. Okay. It's a little challenge, mm -hmm. but don't worry too much, okay? okay all right. This is the name game quiz, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what we have to do in this quiz is guess who the celebrity is. Okay. okay. So I will pick a card, and there are some words on the card that we're not allowed to use to describe this celebrity. Okay, all right. Okay, so sure. we have to think outside the box. All right. It's not going to be that easy. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hey, Bismillah. There's no time limit, right? Is there? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, it's a guy, mm -hmm. he's from America, he's African-American, he's an athlete, so it's like, you know. Okay. But the name! <laughs> so this is the sport, right? Mike Tyson? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Well done! So there's this lady, she's African-American and she has her own show, yeah. talk show. She's very um, inspiring and she has amazing people on her TV show. She invites celebrities, doctors, okay. um, um, she's super rich. And Oprah. Yes. Oprah. <laughs> okay. So uh, this guy is an actor, mm -hmm. right? He just won like this actor's award. He's been acting since he was young. He was the on a big ship. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. There's this guy. He's an Afri African American. Um, he's Muslim. Okay. Um, he's a boxer. <laughs> and Muhammad Ali. Yes. <laughs> he's the only famous one I know. Awesome. Muhammad Ali. Yes, Ali. you for a very long time yeah well people don't know but I we've known each other since we're probably like 14 12, 15 14 yeah kind of law like you know throughout our journey in life yeah uh, there was a time that we we have we didn't see each other for a for while a long time, yeah. then the next thing I know I went into a magazine shop and then I, I pick up this one magazine and then I see you on the magazine mm -hmm. wearing hijab and that totally just blew me away like I was I was like mashallah Wow, subhanAllah, if Tasha can do it, so can I. It was really one of the moments in my life that helped me kind of make my hijra as well. Do you make know, it is. SubhanAllah, it is. And to know that, because we've known each other for, it really helps when you know people around you and they've made that change. It's like we, we go through the same struggles. So how did you get to that stage where you wore the hijab and then the whole world knew about it and you inspired so many people? One day, I said to myself, you know, I really would love to meet, to go to the house of Allah. It was always my dream to be cured because I've had so much pain in my life. And you know, you have everything, you achieve everything in your life, but you still feel so empty. So my husband, Khalid, who was currently, who was I basically seeing at that time, we were actually still struggling and finding ourselves. And one day he said, I'm going to go for Umrah. And next thing I knew, he said, I have a gift for you. Let me go on this journey and then you go for your Umrah. So it was a present for me. And so we went on this journey separately and I said to myself, when I saw the house of Allah, I said, Allah, please give me 360 degrees of change in my life. I do not want to go back to the same lifestyle. And I just cried and cried and cried. And I'm like, I'm ready. Just give it, you know? People keep asking me, you know, what about your work? To me, I'm like, it's okay. I want change. So change is going to come. Allah yeah. is going to decide what is good for me. For three years, I've not been acting. It's not that I don't miss it. And really, it's a lot of istiqamahs and yeah, a lot of challenges. But Alhamdulillah, I have no regrets. I'm so pleased and so, so happy for yeah. you and Khalid and yeah. may Allah bless you with more goodness and istikama and baraka yeah. for all of this life and the next life Alhamdulillah, thank you so much It's beautiful to listen to your story because yeah. it is a part of my Hidra story yeah. as well so subhanAllah yeah. So what is the one biggest change that you want to see in the world today? Oh wow, I was typing out something on my Facebook this morning about we live in such a modern world right now filled with technology Everything is growing, yeah. but we're surrounded by the war. It's not close, but we are witnessing it. The war. The war. Yeah. And every day when, you, when I scroll through my timeline, I see all these children dying. I wish we can reach out more, but the only thing that we are capable of doing now is to send them more doa mm -hmm. and more assistance in terms of finances. Mm -hmm. 
I wish I could be like Angelina Jolie lah. Right. <laughs> and go in and go yeah. and see and meet them. I wish them I could. And, yeah. I mean, say, I mean, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Like my yeah. husband says that. Don't say I wish, but make du'a that you will. You know, because if you say that you wish, that means you're not sure. This is the one thing that I want. I I okay. wish that the world would just be calm and normal. You know I mean, what I mean? I mean, because we're all living in peace, but others are not. Ah, oh, may Allah protect <laughs> all those who are oppressed. And yeah. inshallah, we will live in a world that is. Peaceful, yeah. inshallah, one inshallah day. One day. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I'm so glad Thank to have you so much. <laughs> you know, had this interview with you. It's been a long time coming, but yeah. I make dua for you and your family. Thank you so all much. Allah grant you all the best in this life and the next, Thank inshallah. Thank you so much. <laughs> I want to know how fast this thing can go. And I'm all about I know, right? I want to know as well. Let me try it. It's a total lifestyle. Oh!